Okay, here we go. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is the new decals system that got added into Lumion. And I'm just going to come right out and say it. I've never heard anyone call it decals before I started making YouTube videos. So I'm going to keep calling it decals, but maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm, I'm genuinely curious if that's the normal way of saying it, because like I said, a lot of people have said that on my the decal video that I made about a year ago. And I, before I've made them, like I said, I've never, ever heard anyone call it that. So for the remainder of this video, that's what I'm using it as. I'm sorry if people don't like that, but that's just the way it is. This is probably the coolest feature that got added in Lumion 12. Again, though, the, the same problem with the license plates. Like, I feel like if you don't add the ability to make your own or add them in, it's just it's not the same. And I'm going to get more into that. But I hope you stick around to the end of the video. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects. And then I am going to drop in decals. So just make sure it's clicked. This is something so this is something that they're definitely they could expand on it. I really like this just because it adds in some customization that before you'd have to kind of do some, you have to drop in a plane, do some stuff, and it just wasn't worth the hassle. But being able to just drop stuff like this in, and it really does fit well with the scene. I like it a lot. Something that I think they did extremely well with this is the fact that you can actually blend it in. So let me see if I show more here. So blend colors, so you can make it faint. You can make it look like it's almost just like a, a wet area. Uh, you can blend the normal so you can see that that's changing the glossiness and reflectivity. I really, really hope that they come out with a way of adding your own custom ones in because this is something that I think can add a ton to Lumion. And they also added something in a way that this is pretty cool to me. So let's pick, uh, let's do maybe the wall stickers. And I don't know, I'll pick the giraffe. Good enough. So it comes in this block. So you can see that like the decal is kind of inside of this. And the reason why that is, is you can actually extend this out. Then you can make whatever it touches on the outsides that it'll apply to. And something that I actually learned just messing around with this a second ago is you can actually drag it out like this. So as you can see, because this is where the, the wall is touching this decal, then it's you can move this box without moving that. So if we just grab this and we pull it up then we can start to see that it's appearing there. It's, it's one of those things that like, you know, this particular feature, I don't know how I would incorporate the range, but I do have to say, I think it's really cool at the very least. Maybe it's not meant to be used like this. And the purpose of it is just to make it so that if you're dragging it around, it's just, it's much easier to use and you can move it around. You can adjust it without it flying all over the place because I have been, I have used them before with Lumion using the technique uh, of the video I made about a year ago, but it's very tedious because you have to place the plane in a perfect spot or you have to use SketchUp and flicker reduction. And honestly, flicker reduction, I don't think you should use at all if you can, because the way Lumion does it is like if you move away from it, it can cause massive problems in your scene. And it's not always easy to determine what's causing that. So I personally try and stay away from it altogether. And I try and fix it in whatever software I'm using instead of actually doing it with flicker reduction. And this could be a really cool solution to that. So this could, uh, yeah, this could add some really cool, really cool things to your scenes. I think that this is, as I said, my favorite feature. I think it's very creative. I think it's pretty out of the box. The only downside you know, kind of like I mentioned before, it's without the ability to uh, add your own, it's just kind of like, okay, cool. But you know, the, this stuff, it's like, what am I going to kind of do with this? Like chalk drawings, that's cool. You know, it, it works. I think you can add, you know, a bit of interesting stuff to your scene. But yeah, I think that it's, uh, it's just, a, oh, that is actually really cool. That it, and that's what I was saying, like the way it interacts with the scene. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that they will add more to this. If you remember when they came up with displacement, that too is only set with particular materials while they iron things out, or it's because they, you know, people get the, you know, Lumi on 12 for this one, but they want custom decals and it's going to be 12.3. Maybe it's a little strategic there. I don't know, but regardless, that is 
that is how it works. And yeah, you can, you know, you can change that around. It's pretty cool. I, uh, I'm going to be watching this one because I uh, think that there could be some pretty interesting scenes that you could do if a couple more things are added to it. And just the ability to break up concrete. Um, you know, this is kind of what I find weird is that, like I said, like this is, these decals are really what you want to like to throw over your road because it makes it look more realistic. And these road markers are cool too, but I'll be honest, I've never seen this on the road anywhere. Maybe that's just because in Canada, like, uh, you know, I've never seen the actual speed limit placed on the road because it deteriorates. It's always put on a sign. So to me, I don't have any use of these ones. Uh, the ability to put the accessible parking on the ground, that's cool because we typically have to just put like a, a plane um, and then do that. But again, this this might just be a Canada thing, but typically in Canada, you have like a blue, a blue square around it. So... Um, this one may not look exact, but we can kind of make do. It's a pretty cool one. And then the crosswalk. This is really hard to see. Let me, let me just adjust these for a second. I probably could have picked a better scene to test this, but just to be able to drop these on the ground and kind of move it about is pretty neat. And it would be cool if you could do a line placement with this because then like, you could just basically rotate it. Oh no, so I guess there is actually a square in here. I didn't I actually miss this one before. So if you turn this blue and then you drop this one on it and I don't know how to stack them. So it's yeah i'll have to play around with that i personally don't know how to do that again these are kind of like my first reactions so these videos aren't as polished as they should be but i just wanted to kind of show people how to get their foot in the door this was like i said one of my favorite features maybe even out of 11 and 12 i really like where this is going because as i said it's very unique it's a very very different idea they just need to add in the custom decals if you can add all that stuff in then i think it could be very very cool for now though i'm going to end the video i hope you all subscribe to my channel I hope to see you in the next Lumion 12 feature video. Take it easy. Have a good night.